Nothing. What hurts the word what? <laughs> I was just thinking about the fake rage. Because <laughs> they said sometimes people come out grumpy. <laughs> Hello and good morning everyone. Today is a great day for us because Brandon is getting surgery and that means that hopefully he is on the road to a pain-free leg. He broke his leg about four years ago. He had to place a rod from his knee to his ankle. He's had a little bit of pain recently. So if you guys haven't seen those series of videos where he broke his leg, got surgery and everything, the first one, it's not funny. The way it happened is kind of funny. He wasn't with me. I was off working. He calls me. He's like, I broke my leg. Brandon's very dramatic. So I was like, yeah, sure, whatever, you're good. He's like, well, I gotta go because I'm getting loaded into the ambulance. You what? So you're serious, you really broke like he thought it would be a fairly easy fix. He'd head home. He had emergency surgery the next day that was actually quite extensive. Spent a week in the hospital. It was very scary. That whole playlist of videos, I'll have him link and you guys can watch them if you haven't already seen them. Today he is going in to get some screws taken out to relieve the pain a little bit. He has been having a little bit of pain when he walks, when he runs, when he just does everyday normal things. They're going to take the screws out. It should be a fairly simple procedure. Hope, 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 hope that he is able to have a little bit less pain. We're very excited for today. It's been long awaited. He had to have the COVID test, make sure that he does not have the virus. He is walking in the hospital germ-free that way. Our kids are so lucky because Brandon's parents are going to come out and hang out with them today. Ryler is old enough to watch the kids for a small period of time. A longer period of time like this, maybe not. Let's go check in with Brandon and see how he's feeling about today. What up? We got Rag Guy here doing some dishes. Mom editing a photo for the Insta and I am about to take my last sip of anything. I got six minutes until nothing can touch my lips until after surgery. They said that. Okay. You cannot put a single thing to your lips. I hope that doesn't mean chapstick because I need some chapstick. How am I doing? How am I feeling? Let me give you the quick little update. I usually feel pretty good, optimistic, overly energetic about these things until the moment I'm getting like wheeled back in because I think every time, Mindy will confirm this, I underplay what it's going to be like. Everything. When I broke my leg, like I'll probably be out of here tonight, right? That was like four days in the hospital, major surgery. When I had my eye sewn shut, like I think it's going to be kind of like getting like a root canal. Like, I just go in there, I sit there, and they just do it. Totally knocked me out. Had my eye completely sewn shut. I had movie tickets to see a movie that oh, night. That's right. <laughs> Remember yeah. that? He's like, I think it's gonna be easy. It'll just be like wisdom. And this will be like, so that's what I'm saying. This one, guys, I'm calling is like wisdom teeth. It's gonna be like getting your wisdom teeth out. You go in there, they knock you out for a little bit, mess around, and then you're good. But because I'm always wrong, as it gets closer, the nerves do start to build. So for right now, feeling good, feeling fine, feeling a little hungry. If you guys know how surgery goes, I can't eat anything. You know, Brandon, <laughs> he eats a lot. Okay, well, I thought you were gonna go with the hangry. I do have a hard time if I don't eat. I get a little bit hangry, but you cannot eat eat anything food wise starting the night before. So like last night, cut off eating altogether. You can have clear liquids up until two hours prior to your check-in time. So that is right now. And I, I now have five minutes. I'm wasting all this time telling oh you guys how God. I'm feeling. I need to drink some water. Like, well, I'm just going to eat just food Mom's going to have a cheeseburger just right next oh. to me. <laughs> I'm going to grab a little hydration pack. We've got some hydration, like Gatorade type mixes to put in some water. It's still clear. I can still do that. But then they do want me hydrated. They said they don't want you to have nothing coming in. They just don't want you to have any food in you. So I'm going to have a quick last sip of something. And then and then my parents are coming over to watch the kids while we go to the hospital. Mom's coming with, take me there, and then she of course has to drive me home. I don't think I'll be in any state to drive afterwards. But then we're gonna get this surgery underway. I gotta get my drink, I gotta get my drink. Mana and Papa are here. They've arrived to watch the kids. It's party time here in the big house, you guys. They brought pizza. They brought breadsticks. They brought the goods. Yeah, we're pretty These excited. These kids are going to miss us time. for a second. So I just got off the phone with the hospital. They are a little behind schedule, which is good. So we're going to head over there now. Huge shout out. Thank you to Mana and Papa hey, for watching the kids. Hey, take your time. You know, I hope it's an overnighter, don't you guys? <laughs> I bet these guys do. Are you guys glad we're here? Yes, yeah. I am. And Ryder has prepared the man cake. Guys, pretty this excited. is no joke. Papa has excited. said that he would love to spend oh, an yeah. afternoon I hanging out play in the man cave. In what the kids call the man cave. It's upstairs. We don't show it to you often because it is a disaster. Oh, it's always a mess. Bad. It's the junk collecting room of the house. But Ryler knows how much Papa would love to hang out in there, so he spent the day yesterday cleaning it. He cleaned yeah. the room so they can yeah. hang out in it today. He stocked a mini fridge with snacks, drinks, and candy <laughs> treats for out. their hangout. They're going to be in there for a while. We're going to take off to the hospital now. We'll check in with you guys when we get back. We're going for a wisdom teeth level of surgery today. We'll see how that is. Hold me to it. I can't wait to hear what he says when he's coming to. <laughs> I hope you get some of that. I hope, I hope so. I do too. Love you guys. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's okay guys, I'll be back. Don't be sad. I love ya. I'm not gone yet. <laughs> Found my entrance. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> 
We have made it. We've arrived. We found the location. They told us to look for the big orange six, I think. That was a good landmark because we came straight to it. It was pretty awesome. This is a huge hospital. It's so. massive. This is like a campus, you guys. So, so when I called and said, how do we get there? She's giving directions to the hospital. I was like, no, GPS can handle that. Which of the many large buildings am I checking into? This hospital is significant. So this is the hospital that Brandon had his original surgery done at. Yeah. Remember when he got hurt, he had a friend who was a firefighter going through PA school. I was just expecting them to take him to the hospital near our house. When I had let them know that they were taking him to this hospital, they said, well, they're taking him to that hospital because it's a trauma hospital. We're like, what does that mean? Cue the panic. <laughs> we were like, this is four years ago. Our yeah. youngest was like eight months old. At the skate park with yeah. me at the time in a stroller at the top of the bowl while I was laying at the bottom with a broken leg. I mean, anyway. You said it, not me. Turns out I came to this center because they were more equipped and specialized in handling severe injuries. The paramedic told you, like, yeah, you'll probably be able to go home tonight. Yeah, you go home tonight, I have a cast on for like maybe three, six weeks. Yeah, you guys need to go back and watch those videos if you haven't. Mm -hmm. If you've already seen it, I want to know by show of thumbs up on this video, how many of you have seen those uh, videos? It's got to be so many of you, I'm sure. We're out here waiting now. We came here, we got a little bit early. We got about 10 minutes before we need to be at the check in kiosks. Gonna fly the drone real quick. Get some of that sick drone, buddy. Ooh. Then we're gonna walk in, check in, and from there, we don't know how it's gonna go. We got masks, we're gonna throw those on. Got all the things that we need for this, but we don't know how involved mom's gonna be able to be. We'll bring all the cameras, see what we can get. But once we leave this car and head in there for surgery, who knows what's next? It doesn't look like there's a cafeteria in here. It's funny you should mention that because she was asking me, how do you feel? Are you feeling nervous? Are you feeling ready? Are you overthinking it? I said, I literally feel one emotion and one feeling, and that is hunger. I'm just hungry. I'm well, hungry. last night. I like, wanna do it so I can eat. That's all I wanna do. <laughs> late at night, he came up and he just sat on the couch and held my hand and just looked at me, and I was like, what's going on? It was a private moment, but he I guess was you like, <laughs> I think I'm a little nervous. I was, I, like I said, I get a little bit it's like just nervous because it. I always underthink what this is and I'm like, what if I'm wrong? What if it's a big deal? I've got all of the surgery necessities. I've got my photo ID, insurance card, face mask, 360 GoPro Max, iPhone, GoPro Hero 8 Black, and drone. Are those all the things that they told us to bring? I think so. <laughs> We're all checked in right now and it's kind of cool because they give you a number for like patient confidentiality. There's a screen up here, kind of like when you're waiting for your pizza at Little Caesars or something. It's supposed to be funny. Okay. <laughs> anyway, a it shows the status of your progress. So like it will say that you're in surgery, you're out of surgery, you're awaiting recovery, you're fully recovered, right now, like you, whatever. You I got nothing up there. I don't even, even exist, exist yet. My number's up there, but I don't exist. So then, hold on, there's a bunch it's of things. Color-coded. Oh, pre-op for yellow, ready for surgery, surgery start, surgery in progress. So I think you get to come back there with me, right? Though you're not gonna sit out yeah. and watch this like flights coming in, are you? I like comparing it to things. Things. It's kind of fun. Anyways, all it is is just basically the status of my surgery mm -hmm. on a board without my name. There you go. That's the whole thing. So we're waiting here. It turns out she can come back with me. We're yes. going to be going back there together. They said a few weeks ago that was not a possibility. So kind of some new things here going down. Glad that this is happening when it is. So we're just reading about anesthesia right now. Some of the possible side effects. Why they asked me not to eat and why I'm, I'm so hungry. I'm just for people that go above and beyond. I already know one person I'm going to talk Looking about. Looking for some wow moments. We've had a couple of those already. So, so far, so good, you guys. Just waiting to go back there into pre-op. Take you guys along for the ride. How tall are you? Uh, six, three. There goes in front. Opening goes towards the back. There's a tie up top by your neck here. There's one that wraps around your back side. Cover your back. Some fantastic paper shorts we let you wear. Oh, check out these new boxes. Paper like those. shorts. Okay. Those are fancy. Brandon is completely checked in. They've gone over all of his health history, asked him every question in the book. He didn't get changed into his little paper shorts is what they like to call them, his gown. He's gonna be all set for surgery. He said we're at the tail end of surgery day, so that's kind of awesome because- I didn't have to go well, to the pre-op room. I it's not here. awesome because you're at the tail end. Oh, I'm the hungriest of everyone who came in today. But they did say something that was interesting is we kind of thought that it would be like a 10 minute procedure. Remember the whole wisdom teeth thing? Yeah, no, they said it's going to be an hour long procedure, 30 to 45 minutes in recovery, and then 30 minutes post-op. Holy cow. I should've brought my laptop or something to do because I'm gonna be here way longer than I thought. All right, B, look at this. Yeah, I'm one of the finest here. Got me to tie you all up? Will you actually? I don't know if I can do it very good. Help circulate throughout 
Getting your legs shaved, huh? I've never done that well, before. Well, I think. Yeah, my ankle anyway. You know where they're doing that. So, yeah, they're going to take those bad boys out right there. Okay. So, it's pretty low, but I mean, you can go up as high I'll, as you I'll need go to. go like right there. Okay, perfect. I didn't mean to do this anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying that your legs look better than mine. It's pretty good shape well, job right there. Well, a portion of your leg. Yeah. You're pretty lucky. He's getting the treatment. He's got his IV in, Locked half loaded. of a leg shave. Got a little pumper here to keep the blood flowing during the surgery. We just found out though that it's not till five. That's a little while away. Like it's now, oh my gosh, 3.45. 3.45, got here at 2.45. The whole rundown is up on the board here. An hour in the operating room, 45 minute recovery, 30 minute post-op, and then go home. So we're gonna be here a while. I know. Much longer than we thought, especially I thought. I've been telling everyone it's 10 minutes like the whole family text thread is going nuts about like oh good luck and i'm like guys it's gonna be 10 minutes i'll be in and out no big deal it's most of the rest of today we'll be here put it behind your ear feel like you're doing okay then you can take it off at any time you want if any medication transfers by accident onto your fingers and you rub your eyes you get super dilated for days oh it'll be not fun Thank you. We're in the part right now where I thought I would be wheeled back. Last time I remember very vividly like this waiting tank that you hang out in. And that's where I think I was alone, right? Like don't you leave? You don't get to go back there or do you go back there with me? I was back there with you. Here's my eye one I'm thinking of. That one too? I don't know. Anyways, that's the place where I would get the flashbacks of the first surgery and that's when it really started to feel real. Well this time, we're just hanging out in this waiting room the entire time. We're just kind of chilling on our phones, keeping yeah. in contact with Mona and Papa, finding out what's for dinner. Turns out we're going to be here till probably well after dinner. But they gave us the full rundown on how it's all going to work out, how long we're going to be here, how they're going to handle me coming out of anesthesia process. I will not leave this room until I'm being wheeled out to the surgery. The surgeon will come in here, the anesthesiologist will come in here, they'll give me a little dose of something, I can't remember what it's called. Once that kicks in, they will wheel me out of here and right into the room where the surgery will take place. Next time mom sees me, I will be out of recovery in post-op, post-op. And then we can head home. That is the rundown for our time here. It's going to be spent right here in this room, so we're not going anywhere until surgery. We should mention, obviously, if I'm here getting surgery, they got the COVID results back and they were negative. She actually said when they were checking me and they hadn't fully registered in the system yet, but she hit refresh, came back negative. So I'm good to go on that as expected. And that's why the surgery is happening today. Yes. yes. Chart said we'd go back and be in surgery at about five. And those are always just estimates because you don't really know how long the one in front of you is going to take. One before us was scheduled for an hour. It looks like it might be going a little over because it is 5.45 now. Still haven't gone back. So 5.45, still just chilling here together in the waiting area. Glad we got to hang out at least here together. First guy who's gonna come through the door should be the surgeon. Just checking up. Let me know that we're going in soon. Then anesthesiologist to get me started and wheeling me out of here. Still just waiting for anyone to come in here. <laughs> in the bathroom I'll show you. Oh, we're gonna take that with you, huh? Yeah, take it. A little potty break. <laughs> we can see your bum. Just kidding, we can't. Brandon's taking a little potty break. He's like, maybe it will break up the monotony of sitting here for so long and maybe we can get an update on when he's gonna go back. We are now a full hour past when they said that they would start. Kind of wanting an update. <laughs> potty break. Well, how was the potty break? Pretty good. I mean, I've drank this much today, so I gotta go somewhere. Just you just hook it on the hook. And we're back. I've been laying enough. I think I'm gonna sit for it. <laughs> You're like, can I get up and do some jumping jacks? Six now, everybody. Six o'clock. See you later. Kiss right here. High five or a mouse kiss. A mouse kiss would be. Pretty That's sweet. a little different. <laughs> Love you. Love See you on the other side. <laughs> have fun. Okay, I'll have a little less metal in me. Won't be as hardcore when we get done. Just a teeny bit though. And we get to so keep them. We just found out we get to keep them. Smile. <laughs> yeah, I'm smiling. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm smiling. Can you see? Look in my eyes. All right, babe. There you go. See ya. All right, we'll have see ya. Have the ya. time of your life. See you in a little bit. Go get something to eat. Bring something back for him. Brandon just barely went back. I'm now in here in an empty room. They said it will take about an hour, so I'm just gonna wait. I actually might go get some food. Ugh, I am so hungry. I can only complain about that so much because he hasn't eaten since yesterday. I think I'm gonna go wander over and grab some food, refuel. Came down the cafeteria. They have like everything you could possibly want here. And I've heard their cheeseburgers are amazing. So I got a cheeseburger with french fries. I can't wait to eat. 
just barely got back when I was leaving this building they said you have to be back here before 7 or you cannot get in it's like even if my husband's in surgery 6 45 so I had plenty of time I went to the cafeteria got myself a cheeseburger planned on being healthy but you know what can't be just hospitals cheeseburgers I know that grab myself a little food I'm gonna sit here and eat now took off my mask because I'm in the middle of eating. He was back there for like not even 30 minutes. He already came out. He said it went flawless. It went awesome. He said he's just getting to recovery here in a minute. Give him 15 or 20 minutes there. He said it should be really easy. Maybe Brandon was right. This was more like a 10 minute procedure than an hour long procedure. Brandon can have his screws back, but they have to take it down to be completely sterilized before he can take them home. So he says he'll probably pick them up next week, but I guess it went awesome. I'm so, so grateful. I'm going to continue eating my dinner here. Next time I'll see you guys. Brandon will be in here. Sunshine. Hey, it's you. Wow, that was very hey. close. Hey. Right down the hall. Yeah. Okay, guys, Dad's back. B, how was it? I gotta say, really good. I don't. Hi, buddy. Remember any of it? Are you yeah, talking to Rai Guy? I am talking to Rai Guy. He just came out of surgery, dude. Rai Guy, I love you, dude. I love you. I'm looking at home. Do you want to tell him anything? Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> Not even though you love me, dude. Hey, Mom, Philip's Bam Bam just gave us some crumble cookies. No way. Yeah. Oh, my gosh, B. Philip's Bam Bam sent you cookies. Ooh, I'm hungry, and I love cookies. <laughs> We're saving them for you. Hey, thanks, buddy. We're going to be leaving here soon. Okay. Love you. Love you, dude. Oh, bye. bye. How you doing? I'm good. I was just going to save video because it's wearing off fast, so... Are you okay? Oh yeah. So let me just tell you really quick. Okay. Because you couldn't go back there. No. So they take you into this room. The OR. For surgery. There's giant lights. But they don't turn them on at first. So they're just giant lights. And it was funny because they're doing stuff. But I don't know what they're doing. And they have me telling them stories. And they seem kind of overly interested in my stories, but I think they're just distracting me. <laughs> because then I felt my arm kind of tingle and burn, and I was like, ooh, that's kind of burning. And they're like, oh yeah, that's just it doing the work. And I was like, wait, we're starting? And they're like, yeah, we're just telling you stories. No. We're having you tell stories to distract you, but we're getting going here. I don't know if they said to distract me. They're not being, <laughs> they're not being sneaky. But then I was like, oh, that's a good idea. And then fast forward, nothing can tell right now. No idea what's going on. Well, it's good because they didn't cut off your toes. You still have five toes. And I was kind of surprised it hurt pretty good in my ankle coming out. But the ladies who I was just with, very nice. You were hanging out with other ladies? <laughs> Coke Zero Vanilla. Vanilla. Good. Do you want to know what I got? What? We're like a match made in heaven. <gasps> and you said you got a cheeseburger. Well, I did. I don't think I can handle that right now, but I got little saltines, Lauren and Dune crackers, the classic pregnancy snack. And so I was telling them, when I came out from my eye, it felt like it took forever. Like for, well, first of all, I couldn't open my eyes because they were sewn shut. But like, it just felt like coming out, it was just like slow and I just didn't know what was going on around me. This time from like, from when I woke up, some saltines, a little drink. Before I know it, I'm back here with you. Hmm. And your life's complete. Let's see. What do they got down there? Oh crap, honey. Stop. Have you seen this? The jokes are so dumb. Have you seen what they did to you? They did a great job. Oh, yeah, they did. The anesthesiologist came in, like, he's obviously going home, and he's, like, in shorts and a t shirt. And, like, I was like, anesthesiologist. And he was good. Okay, guys, fresh out of surgery. Tell me, did I, did you already video the part about how I went in there and there were lights and stuff? Um. I don't want to repeat everything. Were you recording when I said that? I think I was. I don't remember. I think I was. So yeah, I went I back there. Everybody's very nice. Very, very nice. And there's these big round lights above my head. And I was like, oh, wow, this is like a cool place to work. There's like all these lights and stuff. So they started asking me all these stories. And I can't remember what the stories were. But they were very interested in my stories. Too interested in my stories. And then I feel this burning sensation in my arm. And I was like, ah, oh, I see what you did here. It started. I don't actually think I saw that they had done that. 
And then they were like, well, pretty soon you'll be out. Because I was breathing in oxygen, but I think it was oxygen mixed with something. I don't know. Please. And then... <laughs> what did you say? Not appropriate, Mindy. Family channel. And then, no joke, from that sentence, Mindy's posting some pretty funny stuff over on at This Is How We Bing Him right now. I just hear me laughing hysterically over there, and I don't think I'm that funny. Then, from then until I woke up, nothing. You're gone. You don't know anything's going on. Mindy's having a great time at my expense over here. But guys, I love you. This has been pretty fun. Pretty cool. I mean, it's like a long day. It's you want to do it again tomorrow? It's 8 o'clock at night? Mm-hmm. I will say this. It's wearing off fast. I went from like not being able to see blurry vision, not even sure who I was talking to or what I was saying, to now, obviously I know I'm addressing the THWB fam, greatest family on the internet. You guys are the greatest. Funny that I'm pointing with this finger. And I had a little bit of a snack. I had a Coke Zero, which was fantastic. Coke Zero Vanilla special request. I got it just for me. Now I think I just chill here for a minute until I'm ready to go and then Mindy will drive me home. I'm not taking you home. Boom. And uh, some of her jokes are not going to go over. She said I had one of my toes missing. I'm not going <laughs> to fall for that. I'm going to take my toe off. Did you get the screws? Do we get those later? You have to get it next week. Next week? What are they going to do with them? Maybe they're gonna sign. I can hear my stupid laugh in your Insta story. Check those out, guys. At the side being them. funny stuff. Yes. Okay, gotta put this away. Here we go. Oh, so much better than the first time around. That was so miserable. Like all that spiky pain that. Oh, down I remember that was horrible. Training you how to walk down the hallways and stuff. It's so bad. We'd have to. Do how do like, you feel? We'd have to do like laps to just practice walking. That's the worst. I you feel great. me. I'm out of the paper gown and I'm ready to rock. And I gotta be honest, I'm feeling better by the second. Like, every second I'm coming out of it, I'm feeling better. This has been very smooth, very easy. Good. I'm glad here. Oh yeah, mask it up. Mask it up. They up, took this up. when I went in there because obviously they gotta put that thing on my face. And I was like, how do I get that back? Alright, you're all ready. You're all set to go home. I think you might have that on upside down. Do you? No, I don't think so. Is that right? Yep, it's upside down. <laughs> Shut up. Jacob. Yeah, it's a play though. Are you sure? Because it curves at the bottom. You know, that goes up by your nose right there. <laughs> I've been wearing it wrong the whole time. <laughs> I thought that curved for your chin. Oh my gosh. And everyone's just for like... For the nose. Everyone's just like, I feel bad. you got to adjust the straps because you're constantly adjusting it. But that's because I have the curve on my chin. How funny. Guys, this has been incredible. Fun journey. Glad you were able to come along for the ride. Glad Mindy was able to document a lot of it, I feel like. It has been smooth, easy. Excited to go home. They said Do a you know couple of days though of just chilling i thought yeah, it'd be like oh, a couple sure. hours but they yeah. did a couple days leg up elevated reduce the swelling all that good stuff i'll take care of you thank you sweetie let's get you home. Ding, ding, ding. <laughs> <laughs> get out of here boy it's late everybody's gone they've been gone for a long time <laughs> in the truck i'm feeling a trillion times better you can take off your mask now oh again yeah we're out of the hospital guys we literally shut this place down there is nobody in the parking lot they're like locking the doors behind me we were the last surgery of the day but really i gotta say so far very chill it does hurt my ankle a little more than i expected also got the oompa loompa paint <laughs> I, I teased him that he actually got turned into an oompa loompa i was probably an awful wife yeah mindy was just trying to make all kinds I of jokes guys so many jokes on him. yeah appropriate time you know real funny. i thought i was very 
funny. It was very funny. Sorry very, about very that. Funny. Now it's time to get back home. I mean, Mon and Papa are watching the kids for way longer than for they nine hours you. now. <gasps> nine hours. Yeah. Okay, we gotta get home, guys. I love you. Thanks for being a part of this. Let's get back to the house. All tucked in. Get your belt on. Oh yes, thank you. Let's get home to see those kiddos. Quick shout out as we're loading up here to Mindy, who is so on top of everything. First of all, I had the benefit of being hungry and then like going under anesthesia and not having to deal with this. She had to sit there for another couple hours waiting for me to come out. Do you know that your surgery was only like 25 minutes long? Oh, really? Yeah. I did not know that. <laughs> but I should sit here and take all the credit that I sat there for very long. I really did. But you did. You were there. And then as we get in the car, she's like, here's your phone. Here's the lens caps to the GoPro Max. And I know you your want Lorna that. Dunes. An extra Lorna Dunes. And and the carrier, for the, like, there's just so many additional things to remember beyond just leaving the hospital. She's like, here's all your camera gear, here's the protective cases, here's all the stuff that I know you want, need, and care about so much. Oh, just remind me of cheers. having babies. Bong. Cheers, that's not happening though. Speaking of babies, time to get home to those babies. Big hugs before bedtime. Guys, that was easy, that was easy. Yeah, it was. See how the recovery goes, make sure you come back tomorrow, see how I'm feeling. So far, very easy. <laughs> We got Kruby, Hazy, Rye Guy, Greg. So exciting! Yeah. Hello, everybody. Hey, don't jump on me. Oh don't jump on me. Hey! We're gonna be fine. Well, I kind of thought. Careful, don't step more. on his foot. I really thought I would be like on the one wheel, you know, pretty quick. But they do say it's very quick, maybe what, mom, like a couple days, three days. Holy yeah. God. Wow. Okay. I'm just like a snow. I just have to lay down with my feet. Okay, come up. sit over here. I yeah, do have to do. keep my leg up for the swelling and put some ice on it. Uh. <laughs> They have earned the right to be on the couch because, guys, that was nine plus hours that they were here. That was not expected. We did not think that they would oh be gosh, here the entire so day. In fact, we had originally planned Ryler to just watch the kids. You know, it'll be quick in and out thing. We were gone for 10 hours. It was fun, so, though. We had fun. Huge, huge thank you so to Mana and Papa Joe for watching the kids. So I went in there. They're much longer than we thought we would be, but they basically just cut open the side of my leg, pulled the screws out, and I get to keep the screws. That is pretty cool. They have to sanitize them, so I can't get them for a little while. The last surgery of the day. They were literally shutting down when I There came was out. one car in the parking lot and it was ours. It was just ours. That's <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. heck. You guys gotta see the video of the lady like give me a ride to the car, like shoving my wheelchair. One wheelchair super mm -hmm. fast. I have to wear this for three days. I can't take this thing off. So if I shower, I gotta wrap it in plastic or whatever. I can't go like swimming or anything for like a week because the stitches yeah. can't really get wet. No um, skateboarding for a week. Did you say that? Yeah. At least. At least oh, a week. Days, nope, because you don't want the skin busting open. Oh. And also you can't work out until you see your doctor. Walking around. Sounds a little bit hard today, but I bet tomorrow, totally fine. Totally fine. That's Pretty what you good. said before. Right. <laughs> we are just getting home. I'm finally eating. Yeah, yes. having some of that pizza that Sarah brought. So nice of her. Yes, you guys. We've been well taken care of. Thank you guys for being a part of this, enjoying our day. I gotta say, like, we thought that would be like maybe like a two hour thing. It was the entire rest of the day, guys. It is 10. I'm not watching anymore. Like 10 30 at night. Really That's late. crazy. We feel super grateful that Brandon was able to get the surgery. Really good day. You did awesome. Mm. Thank you for the entertainment. You guys don't know what we're talking about didn't see all of it head on over to our insta stories at this is howie bingham you will be thoroughly amused i'm excited to see because i don't even know what's on footage so i'm excited to start editing this one tonight just it's to see funny. what there is so i may have joked around with you a little too much make sure you do come back tomorrow to see how he heals up how he's feeling how things are going here at the bingham house so. i'm optimistic it hurts a bit tonight i'm still like a little bit like when i walk slightly dizzy he's a little wobbly but i feel like a solid night of sleep wake up tomorrow i think i'm gonna be feeling fantastic so come back see how the recovery is Hopefully awesome. a quick turnaround thank you guys for all the well wishes tons you guys of them are amazing. coming from everywhere you guys are the greatest you make this fun see you guys all tomorrow. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. It's literally like we were just here. We were just here. What hurts the word? What? Nothing. <laughs> I was just thinking about the fake rage. Because <laughs> they said sometimes people come out grumpy. <laughs> what if I do that? And they just give me like a drink. And I'm like, I hate it. <laughs> it's not that funny. What is that? I gotta say though, coming out of it was way easy this time. Way easy. Do you feel better? Do you feel nauseous? Not even a little bit. Dude. <laughs> 
Honestly, not even a little bit. And it's like every second I can just feel more and more normal. You feel pretty normal now? I mean, I don't think I could walk, I would fall over. Because everything's just kind of tingly and numb. I think it's because you're moving, you need to hold still. Did they say that? Yeah. The aliens just came down and told oh, me. Oh, stop, I'm not that out of it. <laughs> yeah, feels good. I mean, like... When I first started coming to, my ankle was hurting so bad, I was like, oh crap, like is that normal? Like it hurts. And then they did a little something in my drip. Now it's like a three to four, not a big deal. On the pain scale, not a big deal. And I don't feel like I've done anything weird or, or said anything weird. Why are you laughing at me? Is this camera on right now? Is this on? Uh -huh. 